Greetings to you once again. Uh, my name is Enoch. Once again, this is message number six. And I have to quickly make this because I strongly believe we need to put our heads where they should be. There's a uh, message trending now in the country involving the presidential candidates of the Labour Party and Bishop David Oedeko about the purported discussion before the election. I do not hold brief for Bishop Oedeko, but I want us to be very objective. Not because I'm a Christian, or not because I attend the church, but I want everybody to be careful at this point in time because this might be for the rising and falling of some people. First and foremost, I'm not one of those who will stop people or condemn them for pointing out when they say things that are not going right in the church. I'm not one of those, so don't get me wrong. But when somebody called me and started cussing on the phone and started you know, saying a lot of things and I've spoken with some people and the question I asked them has been what did Bishop say wrong in the video? And they were saying that Mr. Peter Obi said the election was going to was like religious war. And I deliberated with them and I said, so what do you think about the election? Wasn't it looking like that from the beginning? When a party went to bring Muslim Muslim people? Was that not showing to you that it was already a religious war? And I said, not only that, I watched it live on the television when some people did a conference, whether in Kano or Kaduna, northern part of Nigeria. And they called themselves the clerics, the head of the clerics. And they mentioned the people that they have spoken with and they had live interviews where they said this election was going to be a jihad. As a matter of fact, somebody said they have been planning this for a very long time where they will have a Muslim Muslim ticket. So it wasn't a coincidence. It wasn't that there was no Northern Christian person that they could take. It was just an Islamic propaganda. That was what the video said. I'm not holding brief for any party. But I just want us to be objective in this particular moment. Let us not leave the major issue of fraud in our election. Let not the youth be going to fight themselves. There's nothing. The problems of Nigeria does not know whether you are a Christian or a Muslim, doesn't know whether you are Yoruba or Hausa or Hebrew or whatever tribe you have. We have common stake. And that's what Bishop Oedipo said in that video, that every Nigerian has a stake in this election. Having said that, how did we get to the point of somebody making private discussion of a man of God? I want to congratulate you, you are the one that did that because the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And it's unfortunate because what the Lord told me to tell you, the person that leaked that video, is that from now on, Every one of your generation is going to have leaked levers and you have opened your generations to leprosy. I don't know you, I don't want to know you, but I believe that if you have done that, you hold the man of God, rush back to the man of God and confess and let him pray for you. I don't want to know who you are. You have the audacity to touch a man of God. <laughs> you have touched the apple of God's eyes. And for those who are running their mouths, why? Let us be careful how we talk. We don't know what other people did. And we know where they normally decide who becomes who. And nobody has ever risen up to condemn them. But for you, that you don't have any stake, that it is none of your business, and you are running your mouth, talking about the man of God. Some people are even going there cursing him, cursing his generations, cursing his children. What did they say in that audio? Go and hide your head and go and bury your head because you are tampering with an anointed of God. I'm not saying I'm the lawyer of Bishop Oyedepo. Bishop Oyedepo has not come out to debunk the video 
and I've had a lot of version of people saying it was true, it was not true, it was doctor, it was not doctor. I am not interested in that. Let's even assume that the, the audio was true. Let's be very careful. Because this thing that is called anointing knows nobody. And when anointing begins to react, huh, people that do not buy might likely pay for it. You might likely not have known the source of the audio, audio whatever, but you have run your mouth a wire. I didn't think the election was a religious war, and I don't think it will be a religious war in Nigeria. And if they are trying to paint him as a religious by God, or if you are trying to say, say something that is um, 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 whatever against the country, I mean, there is nothing, there's nothing has resulted from that audio. And we are happy in Nigeria, still at peace. And if you are trying to throw Nigeria, if you are trying to throw fire into Nigeria, we wish you all the best. But don't forget, be careful what you say and how you react to anything that emanates from a man of God. Be careful. Do not put your family into danger. A story in the Bible, a prophet of God called Elisha was going and some little children, they were shouting, bored dead man, bored dead man. And he declared and commanded. And you know what happened to them? <laughs> some ferocious animals came out and taught those children to piss it. God has not changed. Man of God might not be perfect, but the anointing is perfect. And if you know that you have said anything wrong, better rush back and go and repent and go and confess. Thank you very much for your time. See you in the next video. If I have any other message for you, don't forget, I am just a messenger. Thank you.